Hi, this is Jessica DeMoss from the Guidehole Insights Lounge here at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine 2017. Um, right now joining me in the lounge, we have Bakul Patel, um, and he is the Associate Center Director for Digital Health at the FDA and really uh, the man of a number of conversations here at Exmed. There's been a lot of talk about the progressive, I guess, uh, philosophy that the FDA has been taking really recently, in particular around digital health. And I want to talk about that, but also more broadly in health and innovation. So yeah. welcome, it's good to have you Thank here. Thank you, my pleasure. Good, so let's start out and talk about that digital health, I guess, oh, your new approach to digital health, yeah. the pre-cert program that we were okay. talking about right before the interview. So talk to me a little bit about that. It just launched, how's it going? It's getting a lot of notoriety. Yes, it is getting a lot of notoriety and also getting a lot of attention, which means a lot of pressure to get it right. Um, yeah, uh, so we started this in, on like end of July mm -hmm. um, on this innovation plan. So we put out an innovation plan and part of the plan was like, how do we sort of get um, technologies to, to market faster, do patients faster, while having the same trust that we usually have. Not lowering the bar, just making sure that we are efficient in what we're doing. And also looking at, you know, how technology and software especially is, is changing the way we, we look at things, and, right? So we put out the plan, we put out the, uh, the preset pilot program and announcement, we got 104 applicants applying for the being, to being partners. We don't even have, we didn't even have a structure. We didn't even have a, a model. We had a concept and we had 104 people help us build the program. So we picked nine and then that's what you're seeing, you're seeing a lot of um, and, uh, press on and also a lot of uh, attention on. Yeah. It's because we picked very carefully where we can learn the most for this program. And that's gonna help us develop the program. Talk a little bit more about that for those yeah. that may not be familiar. So what are the nine that you're focusing on? So the nine folks that we, uh, we, we've selected, we range from really small companies to really large companies, traditional, traditional med tech companies to non-traditional med tech companies. So if you take that all together, we have Apple, we have Verily, which is Google yep. Life Sciences. Uh, we have Fitbit, we have Samsung. Um, we have J&J, um, &J. we have Roche Diagnostics, and we have Titeful, Phosphorus, and Pair Therapeutics. Are the people who are like, you can see the spectrum is like really, really broad, and we are going to learn very new novel things. At the end of the day, we want to know how these businesses, they're, they're successful doing business in an excellent way. We are trying to get a bar of excellence that we can then start measuring people to do the right thing and we can get products to market faster. If people are excellent in doing what they're doing, we want those, those people to make products faster. We want those people to sort of have a really streamlined regulatory pathway. And that's what we're trying to do. How's it going so far? So we, we launched the program, we selected it, I think literally three weeks ago, we announced the nine participants. Uh, and it seems like forever. It but does because it feels like it, there's been so much energy right? around this it's, that it seems yeah. like it's been happening forever. Absolutely, yeah. And so we finished our initial kickoff calls with the nine participants. In fact, I'm from here on be going to be traveling to the end of the year to visiting these nine participants, collecting information and making sure that we understand how they're, how they're doing business. And we're, we're looking for how they measure how they're doing good, what mechanisms they have to sort of make sure their CEOs and their their organization actually maintains and tracks. So we're learning those things from all these different organizations. You're gonna bring that back. In fact, we're, we'll talk about this more and how we are engaging with these people on November 17th, like a week and a half from now, sure. where we are going to have a public forum where we're gonna share exactly what how we're engaging with this nine mm -hmm. so we can get input from all the folks here as well as other other places that are not part of the nine. So it's, if you're not part of the nine, don't be disappointed. There'll be lots of opportunity for you to provide input uh, to, to the FDA. And that's what really what we want. We want to really crowdsource this in a way that will be very informative and reflective of what people do in real life and give them credit back for actually doing the right things. It's a very bold move. Yes. Because <laughs> there's some very opinionated people, particularly when it comes to healthcare and health innovation. Yes. And it feels like yes. you know, within the industry, People have been looking for this for a long time, so it's it's fantastic that it's finally here, and I think yeah. people are watching it very closely to see what's happening. What do you hope to? What do you what do you see for the future? Where are we going to be a year from now? What are we going to be talking about? In so to this? let me hit on a couple things yeah. that you said, which is kind of interesting. People are watching. I, I don't want people to watch anymore. Oh, I want good. people to help. jump in, <laughs> jump in and help make the right choices. Help us make the right choices because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for the entire sector to shape it 
shape regulations in a way that's going to be really, really helpful, not for businesses necessarily, not for FDA necessarily, but actually for patients. And How really do people wonder. jump in, other than these town halls? Is there, a, is there a website or a platform that they can contribute so to? So we are, we are, we just posted yesterday mm -hmm. um, the questions we asked of pilot participants. There's a spreadsheet, there's a presentation, there's questions that we ask them, and people should look at those mm -hmm. and give us those comments on the docket. Okay. And that's the way we can, the government collects information sure. on the federal register docket. We can pay, anybody can, any individual in, anywhere in the world can submit a comment. We want people the structured feedback back to us. So when we have a public meeting, which yeah. is going to happen end of January, we can then start bringing in. We, I, like I said on the stage earlier, I want the nine participants' input to be multiplied by 90 and really go excellent, uh, ex exponential yeah. in sort of how we get this input. And then we can have a robust discussion. That's how I want people to engage. I want people to stop complaining. Mm -hmm. I want people to start contributing. Perfect. That's a wonderful sentiment for us to end yes. on. Thank you so much for joining us here oh, in the Insights you. Lounge. It's fantastic to hear about this really forward-thinking ethos that you've adopted there, and we look forward to seeing and participating in the rest of Abs your process here. Absolutely. And you asked me a question I didn't answer. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, was, uh, what are we going to do next year? Yeah, tell me. So by, time, by this time next year, I want to take the concept to a proof of concept. Okay, what so does that mean exactly? So it means that we'll have some of the unanswered questions answered. We'll know what excellence looks like, may not be right, but we'll have a good idea of what that looks like. Uh, we'll probably have some levels sort of determined. We know what excellence looks like, how people should do it. By next, this time next year, I want to make sure that, that the, the processes questions are answered so people can start touching and feeling what this, look, this is going to look in the future. And hopefully that will help us go forward. Well, everybody's very excited about it. Yes. Like I had said to you earlier, we've had a number of interviews where this has come up and people are very, very eager to participate in this. So thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. I'm My Jessica DeMassa here in the Guidewell Insights Lounge at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine 2017. Thanks so much for joining us.